Hi, I'm Mike Stowell, and these are my favourites. My favourite stadium, because I was at Everton, would be traditionally Goodison Park. It has, like I say, lots of tradition and history. Soon to be demolished for Everton to move to a new stadium. My favourite athlete is Stephen Redgrave. Now, Stephen Redgrave is a rower for England. I think he won seven, eight gold medals at over five Olympics. He overcome having diabetes. He continued to train and the trainer intense levels. He's a Sir Steve Redgrave now. And I've always looked up to him. It's an incredible, incredible determination to succeed at his uh, sport. I like most sports, I love athletics. But I have to say, and this won't be a popular one amongst people, my favourite one is cricket. I was a, a bowler and a batter as a young kid, so it was between cricket and football, and everybody thinks cricket's boring, but uh, cricket's a fantastic game. Ooh, favourite match that I've played in? A really difficult one when I played over 500 times for Wolves and then the debut for Everton. But I have got to say it was for Chester City against Aldershot and it was when it was my first professional debut. It was my first time I performed in front of, for real, in a crowd. We won, 3-1, so I didn't keep a clean sheet, but won the game and six, 700 games later, you know, but still remember it. Plenty in the wall, plenty of goal shirts back. Mareska's kick, good save by Stel. Oh, Stel's already saved one penalty. He saved the second. That's a 100% record from Mike Stel. I've played with lots of England internationals. I think I'm going to have to mention the boss, Robbie King. At 17, he came into the team at Wolves. Cheeky, free, skillful and he was annoying in training because he used to keep scoring past me and, and megging me. But he was a fantastic player and I think his career says it all. I think one of the iconic ones was when Phil Brown was manager of Hull City. At half-time they were getting beat. He took all the players, he kept them out on the pitch in the semicircle and he gave them a lecture. And then when Jimmy Bullard scored the following year, I mean, played for Hull. He sat all the players down in the middle and he wagged his finger round to them all in mimic of that. I think that was quite clever. So those were my favourites. <laughs>